What's the deal, man? RJ Lamont in the building and shout out to the motherfucking streets. Love, bro. Yeah. Shout out to the streets, man. We putting on for the whole meeting. Real shit. This is expensive, nigga, and this shit for the streets, nigga. You know what the fuck going on, you hear me? Yeah, shout out for the streets. I appreciate you coming and fuck with your baby. You already know yeah, how that shit go. Well, well, shout out to the streets, for Man, love, man. Appreciate you. Go follow this nigga, too. I gotta go follow this nigga. Big shout out to the motherfucking for the streets, nigga. That's all we doing it for. We only do it for the streets, you know? Shout out for the streets, man. Tap in. My baby. Go check out my new... My new little homie for the streets, man. AKA Ty. Y'all go check him out. Go check him out on his YouTube. Go check him out on his Instagram. I'm back for the second time with my motherfucking guy, you feel me? We yeah. both got a little stronger, got our money longer, you dig what I'm talking about? Go ahead and introduce yourself for the folks that don't know who you is, my baby. Man, this is expensive, nigga, and this shit for the streets, nigga. You know what the fuck going on, you hear me? <laughs> don't forget that money sign in that name either, nigga. Yeah. You been on a crazy run lately, my baby, you feel me? It feel like you on a comeback season. You feel like this a comeback season for you? Or you feel like, uh, for a nigga that just be, you know what I'm saying, watching, you feel like you never left with this shit? I ain't nothing. It was crazy. I'm finna tell you straight up. It's coming, man. It's happening. This is finally my time. I found my revenue. I found my own angle. I know what I'm doing with this shit now. I okay. make money off of this shit. We eat good. I just ate the seafood boil. I'm eating good. We eating good. Everything yeah, good. good. I can't, yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't where I want to be. No but cap. we getting there, though. No God shit. is a blessing. I want everybody to know that. All that, uh... Anything else, man, I put God first, and that's the best way I can put it, man. I put man, God first. real talk, you feel me? You been on that a lot lately, too, you feel me? Talking about God more, you know what I'm saying? Letting them know your face. So, uh, go ahead just for the, you know what I'm saying, the non-believers and the niggas that be on, you know what I'm saying? The demon time shit, you know what I'm saying? Let them know what come with that bullshit, man. Well, that demon time, it, it's, it, it's two ways, man. You already know what that is. Yeah. That's the deal, man. Y'all heard it. that plenty of times. And it's crazy to me. I'm going to keep you with this on that on it, which you've heard plenty of times. Think about what God was. You see that you got these old motherfuckers that's you got your grandma, your grandpa, people old as hell, like 80, 70 years old. They don't know how much time they got left. Mm -hmm. They sit there and tell you, like, I thank God, God. You think they got a lot of you at that age when they already finna go sometime soon. Okay. And they still speaking highly of God still. So that's mm -hmm. my point. Like, I don't know how to break it down to niggas, bro. God will open every door for you, bro. That's I can't put it no better, you know what I'm saying? Real Everybody, shit. Some people don't believe. I, I used to not believe in God. That's why I'm here. be like, fuck God. Look, I that's why I'm here right now. You did what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? This type of shit that I prayed for, you did what I'm talking about? You a ghetto superstar. You did what I'm talking about? Top 10 in the men right now, no cap. You really yeah. putting on. You feel me? So, yeah, people, this man. shit crazy. They blame the God for, you know how you be like, man, thank you God for this, thank you God. Mm -hmm. And then when bad shit, they be like, man, why God doing this to you? Y'all forget that the devil got powers too. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. And then when you realize that, you gonna start believing in God more. You gonna understand Real that talk. the devil got powers too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 50-50 so, with that. this shit. You know how it go. Now, as a nigga who having your way, you know what I'm saying. What advice you got to the rappers that's trying to squeeze a dollar out this shit? Cause you know what I'm saying. You got, you know what I'm saying. You got motion in the rap shit and outside of it. But like, uh, like when it comes to squeezing the, um, when it comes to making money off the rap, you know what I'm saying. Like, what advice you got for the niggas that's trying to make some money off their rap? My advice is to make sure that you you own your beats. Mm -hmm. Make sure that uh. Or if you're not owning them, at least lease them. You know what I'm saying? So you can make some money off of them. Or, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you got you a distribution account like TuneCore. I go through TuneCore. They gonna collect your money from your publishing, mm -hmm. from like ASCAP and all that. They do that shit they sell. They gonna collect everything for you. I get YouTube uh, royalties. I get streaming checks. Mm -hmm. I get writers publishing. I get uh, publishing. Just the publisher, the nigga that published my music. What's up, young dog? Yeah, I, I get. I get all the avenues of that, my nigga. You feel mm -hmm. me? So uh, that's what I'm telling you. Like, it's plenty of ways to get your money. It's really about what you want to get the money for. Like, is you going longevity? Mm -hmm. You going shortevity? You trying to get you some some, some quick cover dollars? Well, if you want quick cover dollars, my nigga, everybody rapping that Flint style. Stick on that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's gonna get you a couple quick dollars. But yeah, if you're talk. thinking for the long term, my nigga, you have to be your, you have to be yourself. Mm -hmm. Real you know shit. It might take longer, but when it do happen, that's you. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? When they hear that sound from you, that's you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he sound like someone. It sound like you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's just all about what you're doing it for. I've been doing this shit for damn near eight to ten years, bro. Damn, for shit. real. 
all about myself, nigga. I'm the muscle, I'm the money, I'm the brains. I learn how to monetize, do all this shit myself. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I do everything, my Real nigga. Shit. I'm the Yo Gotti of this motherfucker. I'm CMG, nigga. I'm, 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 I'm free bricks. I'm, I'm really. It's all me, man. Real you know what I'm saying? I did all this shit on my own. I do all this shit on my own, and I'm thankful. I took a lot of losses. I'm talking a lot of losses. Mm -hmm. I ain't, I can't cap like that. I was gonna cap. I'm gonna say millions. I want to make millions, but I lost <laughs> thousands of dollars, like real hundreds shit. of thousands of dollars, like real shit. Mm -hmm. I just went to New York and spent ten thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, DJ K Slade. You know what I'm saying? No I went fake. down there. I'm on Shade 45 Radio State. This in 2017. This before mm -hmm. like, niggas getting money. Pandemic all this, I'm been getting money. You know what I'm real saying? I go down there and do some shit like that. And guess what? What? I don't even own the song that I got all on the radio. Shit, I, A nigga sent me a beat talking about free beat. I use it. Don't own a song. I don't, I don't know the business of this shit. Yeah, I'm right. Like, all right, well, if somebody hear it, at least I'll blow up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm taking the cheap way out. The, 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 not even the cheap way out. The expensive way out. Mm -hmm. But the dumb way out. And it's expensive to be cheap. It's very expensive to be cheap. So oh, don't be cheap. Goodness. Listen to him, you hear me? I'm gonna give you an example. I seen a nigga say this before on the internet, I, and he, I, I take anything in the heat that I can learn. Mm -hmm. I learn something from a nigga I don't like, and low because he makes sense. Real so, talk. A motherfucker, I'm gonna give you the example. A nigga said like this: his his driveway fucked up. He need a new driveway. Mm -hmm. One nigga charged him seven thousand. One nigga charged him three thousand. Right? Mm -hmm. The nigga that charged, he go with the nigga that charged him three thousand. He go with the nigga that charged him three thousand. Mm -hmm. So the nigga that he charged three thousand, he, 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 he fucked up. He ain't do a good job, right? Mm -hmm. So now the nigga out of three thousand. So now he gotta call the nigga that charged seven thousand, right? Mm -hmm. The nigga that come over there charged seven thousand. So now that if he gotta pay him that seven plus that three, that's ten. Man. This is a good part. Now the nigga that come over there and say seven, he like, man, I gotta charge you ten thousand for this. He like, damn, I thought it was just seven. Well, it was, but I got to clean up for what he just fucked up. Yeah, real so shit. So now I got to talk. Now you came out of 13000 for a $7,000 job. It's mm -hmm. expensive to be cheap. I spent $10,000 in New York doing all that shit I was doing. Mm -hmm. And ain't learning a business, being lazy. Mm -hmm. And I ain't make none of the money back. It's expensive to be cheap. You feel me? Like, and, and you could be cheap-minded. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of times I be like, man, you broke-ass nigga poor. I don't mean it in the pockets, nigga. I've been broke and been poor. Fucked up plenty of times. You feel me? I'm saying you a broke minded ass nigga. Mm -hmm. Like you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no morals. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean by that shit. But it's a lot of shit I could teach niggas, man. They just gotta listen. They just man. gotta open their ears. You already listen, know. Man. Real That's shit. It, just listen when you get that message, my nigga. Man, real talk. That's the best thing I can do. Mm -hmm. Now, how you feel about that uh, that Diddy that Diddy situation, man? Like, as far as career wise, you feel me? Like, is the if he shake back and you know what I'm saying, he hit you like expensive. I heard your music, daddy. I want you on Bad Boy, man. What you trying to do? <laughs> hey, man, I ain't got no. I don't. Hey, that shit is serious. Them niggas be killing niggas, and I don't know if if I really make it. I don't want this to fuck me up. So no, I'm, I'm the G. I feel you. I have nothing to do with that. I don't know what that man do. I don't. I'm not. I'm not interested in that type of shit. Yeah, I never will be. And I, I'm the type of nigga that the nigga come at me and say, "Yo, daddy, it is not like, hey, man, sir, please respectfully take that somewhere else." Cause I'm not into that, sir. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, we can make some money, you, you want to buy an album or something, you want me to do an album for you, and you want these 15 You saw a disco deal type shit still yeah. on the table. We can work something out like that, but come party with you, that ain't happening, my nigga. <laughs> I don't get down like that. On the real, on the real. You know that shit, bro. Well, I ain't with that. Real so, shit. I'm scared of them type of niggas. Y'all better be careful, too, fucking <laughs> with niggas like that. No, for real, though. On it's the real. Some niggas out here, man. A nigga, I know a nigga that's, that's it's, some, it's some fucked up niggas, man. That, like, when niggas hate on me mm -hmm. and shit like that, I know a nigga that they know how I get busy with them. You know what I'm saying? They know mm -hmm. how I am in these streets for real. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But they, since they scared of you like that, they'll do some hoe shit. You better be careful because mm -hmm. them hoe ass niggas is sneaky niggas. Real them niggas shit. will fuck around and slip something to your drink. Them niggas will fuck around and shit. bump you and poke you with a needle and you be like, what the fuck, nigga? And, and, you, and you punk. It's too late. He done gave you A's and man. Needle. He done. You didn't slip something to your drink, and now you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I be careful with niggas, bro. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with them type of niggas, man. Niggas like that, I don't. Leave them niggas alone. Man, niggas real shit. You a pop a nigga for sure, but I ain't the nigga that's going to put something to your drink. I ain't the nigga that's going to. I'll pop you before I do that all day long. I'll put these hands up and box with you all day long. Got to. But it's some niggas that ain't going to do that with you because they real. scared of you. 
Mm-hmm. So, ain't, ain't gonna go about it another way. So, you leave them niggas alone, bro. You leave nah. them niggas the fuck alone, bro. Real you know talk. what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't bully niggas. I don't do none of that shit, bro. Like, anything I did in the past when I was talking cash shit about niggas and all <laughs> that, okay. I did. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, past is the past. They made me feel some type of way. No you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm perfect and that I should have ran and did like that, but I me. Mean, right. Man, I probably go about it a different way these days. Right. But it's entertainment too at the yeah, same time. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment too at the same time. But a lot of niggas, what I say is that when a nigga do what he ever he do, that's his business. However he feed his kids, that's his business, bro. Real if talk. A nigga do some 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 wild ass shit that they be, these niggas be doing, man. That's that's not for me to speak on, man. That's not mm-hmm. my life, man. I mean, Maybe pop more power to you. Keep doing it and do some more to keep eating, keep getting your money. Man. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't a kid. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. done kid shit and I made mistakes. Cause they did. My brain way more fully developed. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I know better. Older and wiser, you know how that shit go. Most definitely. Man. I just want to see everybody win. Real I want to see all them niggas win. Every nigga that I diss, I don't got no problem with you, nigga. I want to see you win, nigga. I don't want you to help me win because I don't want no help. But if you ever came to me, my nigga, because I'm that type of nigga, I'll help you a little bit. No on the real, that's just me. Real that's shit. Me. But we can, we, you know what I'm saying? Chop mm-hmm. it up, you go your way, I go my way. I done done that with some of them niggas, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I done bumped with some of these niggas, we done chopped it up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, real Had our peak. They done offered it, let's do this, man. I'm like, nah, man, you keep doing you, because I got my own thing going on, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Real Even shit. though your thing might be doing more. I'm gonna get to where I'm focused on me right now and what yeah. I got going on. I don't need that, my nigga. But mm-hmm. I'm the type of nigga that I'm not. I don't want it. And if you offer it, I don't want it. And I ain't gonna ask for it. But if you ask me, I may consider helping you out because I'm just that good heart. Real shit. That's the type of heart I got. No faking. Now you can ride. Up, uh, let, ride? Let, let him go through real quick. What's up, sir? What's up, sir? You been riding helicopters, you know what I'm saying? Eating that five-star restaurants, going in there, they order for you type shit, you know what I'm saying? All type of other fly shit. Yeah. You been doing that shit for a long minute now too, you know what I'm saying? And with me knowing your pops work with the chamber, with the Chambers brothers, was this the type of shit you grew up seeing and doing? Or this just some shit you came into? I, I did this shit on my own. This my nigga here. This my cousin right here, man. He called me rapping shit too. Okay. Yeah, it's called Blue. Freaks, man, for sure, for sure. You know what the yeah. fuck going on? What up, though? My, uh, my motherfucking dad in there, man. What's the word, man? My motherfucking dad, man, uh, he was getting money, but my daddy went to prison when I was 10, though. Oh, so yeah. I had a stepdaddy that was getting money, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was used to nice shit, and seeing that, that's what gave me the name expensive. I wanted to do that on shit, but by the time I was 16, I jumped in the streets. I can tell y'all this now because I'm not in the streets no more. Mm-hmm. I rap like that and I'm going to keep it a bean with you. That's why I want to get That's where niggas come from. I rap like that now still because that's my life. Mm-hmm. That's what I came up under. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I started selling drugs when I was 16 years old. I started selling crack. I wasn't selling weed first. I wasn't selling pills first. I sold all that, but I jumped straight directly into crack. I was in a dice game, shooting dice in Clover Tree all around here. Mm-hmm. I'm shooting dice in the, up in the hood. And a nigga that I know, he said, man, you know, this, this, and the third, and mm-hmm. next thing I know, he convinced me to start selling cocaine. I bought my first ounce of cocaine from him. I went and sold my iPhone and the PlayStation 3 or whatever it was out at that time. And, mm-hmm. and I sold my game, I sold my phone, and I came to him with the money that I had, almost around $1,000. Mm-hmm. And he, back then, I think I paid him 700 it was somewhere around that, and I gave, he gave me my first ounce of cocaine. And I, I just went from there. Bubbled up from that I'm giving this that I never said nothing like this before the niggas like because I'm out of that game You feel me? So Real shit. I'm gonna tell you like this. I went to I also went to college. I was a college football player mm-hmm. I went to Ohio University and I went to Tiffin University. It was a Man. D2 and a D1 and I was 17 when I graduated so I went down there playing ball. I found out that everything costs more in Ohio so right. I, if I get a, a gram of weed for five dollars down here down there, I can sell it for 20. So mm-hmm. if I get a pound I'm getting it for cheaper and 
You know what I'm saying? About the, or grandma, about the flip. I'm getting it for a five nine about a pound. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now I'm moving out there. I'm putting everybody on. Mm -hmm. I got like three, four niggas working for me at this school. Then niggas transferred to a different school. So now I still know them. Right. Transferred to a different school. So now I know niggas from my old school. Niggas that went to my old school and went to different schools. Now I'm at a new school. With El so I, my mind was thinking I'm finna be El Chapo, nigga. All I was watching yeah. was motherfucking Pablo Escobar. You got motion all these oh, man, different bro, places. I'm sitting there, I got a book written where everybody named they owe me money, and I go pick it up every two weeks. And, <laughs> I'm, and I'm coming back, and I'm trapped, and I'm giving everybody. You know what I'm saying? Running I'm, the real I'm, business, running the real man, business though. Came back home with like fifty thousand or something, like forty, fifty thousand. I come back to Flint. I mm -hmm. said I'm done with school, stupid. I left there, that opportunity. Uh, Come back, go broke immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, me, and, me and somebody that I ain't gonna speak. I don't know what they got going on still this day. Right. We was hustling together. Mm -hmm. He's older than me. Supposed to have my best interests. Right. I didn't. Uh, I'm out on the streets. Uh, you know, I'm just living in houses with no water, and no heat. Me and my nigga Cam or Russell. Mm -hmm. uh, we stay in there. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm hustling. I'm getting my fiends. I'm, I'm, this is how I used to catch my fiends. I used to see a motherfucker I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, she, I, I bet you know a fiend when you see one. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be like, oh, Steve. Steve, man. He'd be like, man, I ain't no Steve. I'm like, you is Steve. I'll make a nigga think he is who I just said he is. And I'd be like, yes, you. I'm like, man, here, you smoke, don't you? And he, Whole time, man. he was like, "No, I don't know." I'm like, "But you smoke, all right?" And now I just built that content. Now I got a mm -hmm. clientele with you. Now you a new fiend of mine. I'm working you. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I tell you, like you like that man? Just call me. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. like, you, you a tester? Just no call faking. Me. And then when you call me, you want some more free shit? Just bring me somebody else. No I'm, faking. I'm losing for a minute, and now I got a phone going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. about, by the time I'm on, about 20. Uh, this is when I'm about. I'm back home at 19. So by the time I'm about 23. Nigga, I'm balling, balling. Like, I've been hustling for four years, nigga. I'm mm -hmm. balling, balling. Nigga, like, I've been, my phone's slapping, nigga. I'm talking about crazy, nigga, from from, from that, from, 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 I got Cali bowls in, in the mail, nigga. They, they, I, they coming in cl with clothes in them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The th I'm like, why clothes in them? Nigga, tell me you got to throw off the weight. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning a lot of shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Real like, shit. this is the shit I was going through. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, oh, shit. I, then I got to fuck around with the dog. And that Man. dog fucked me up, and my stepdaddy <laughs> told me. He told me stick with what you were sticking with. Mm -hmm. He said, "Cause the police come for shit that kills. He, they want yeah. guns and that fentanyl." Mm -hmm. He said, "You playing in a different game now. Leave it alone." Yeah, big boy I status. Listen. I ain't listen. Got caught under CI confidential informant. Set me up. I'm serving the undercover. You know all type of bullshit. Got myself with some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Not even seven days go by when I get sentenced because I'm still under age. So right. I'm under the certain age of the Michigan laws. I got HIDA. So mm -hmm. they you where if you, you you finish this, you do a year of not getting in trouble, your case. You ain't got to go here. Yeah, you ain't got to go that way. You ain't got to go that way. So I fucked that up in seven days because <laughs> I shot a my A week. Oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Got into that and some bullshit. I ain't going to get that long story, but me and him, he did 15 years in prison. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. at home. We got into it. I looked out for him the best way I could. You know what I'm saying? Like, clearly, like nigga, I used to, I used to buy the nigga summer clothes, winter clothes when he was in prison. I'm talking J. Blessing me, man. I used to bring his mama to go see him. This one, he didn't even think he was coming home. He had 30 years. You know what I'm saying? Man. I, I so loyal to the nigga. Nigga come back home. I, I gave him everything I can give him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This and, nigga was looking at me like a pawn on his chessboard, and it just wasn't going that right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I was being yeah. manipulated and used wrong, and mm -hmm. I, I just. It was just shit like that, man. You know, when you see that type of shit, they always, once your eyes open to it, a motherfucker get mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's, that's how that shit go. It made motherfuckers mad. Mm-hmm. Uncle Joe, I did, I did the best I could do, man. And, uh, that, that, you walking down there with me? Yeah, I walked down that, there. That's the best. I, I did the best I could do, man. And, uh, yeah, I ended up sh going through that with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shit. We held that down like solid niggas, man. Like, I could have took a self-defense route. I didn't. You feel me? You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like, cause I was, I was. At my head was. We just say my head was split open. You uh, know what I'm yeah. saying? And cause I was ambushed by so somebody. So y'all got active. We just leave it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got caught cause somebody told on me, which was supposedly one of his peoples. Mm -hmm. I got caught cause the helicopters found me. They said who I was. They told about me and you know what I'm saying. My name, where I had. He was saying some unnecessary shit, and I got caught, went to jail, 
went to uh, they took me to the hospital, stapled me up because my head was opened up. Mm -hmm. Threw me, took me back to jail, threw me in the hole. But before they, they took me in the inner room. I got paperwork and I can literally show it to you in my phone. This how solid the nigga is. I'm gonna show you the paperwork to where all I had to do was say self defense. Mm -hmm. A nigga would have been gone for the rest of his life off of that. Cause he's on parole. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's convict on parole. a felon type shit. Boy, he's not yeah. even supposed to be doing nothing like that. We're yeah. not even supposed to be involved. And I'm on probation. Real you shit. feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was solid enough to go in there and I'm gonna show you my paperwork right here. It say after leaving the Hurley Hospital, I went to Flint Police Department where David Younger Dean was being held. I read David his Miranda rights while he was in the interview room at Flint Police Department. Stated David stated no sir. When I asked him if he was willing to speak to me, mm -hmm. no sir. It took me back to my cell, nigga. Locked me back up. I fought it, fighting for 15 years, basically. I'm out here with a felonious assault. I don't know if he died or, died or not yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they found the gun. You know, they raided my mama's house and oh, shit like that. They found that shit. drug. And I, I had to fuck around and really just. They off the street. I'm literally like it was a whole fucking mess, bro. I, I, best thing they subpoenaed everybody, but niggas ain't showing up to court. That was my mm -hmm. blessing that niggas ain't showing up to court. They was able to subpoena. I mean, they were subpoenaing people that they didn't come, and mm -hmm. I end up. They were so mad that I still end up just taking a plea, cause so nobody else get in trouble. Right. I just took a plea deal because it was all it was so scattered everywhere mm -hmm. to where everybody was getting into some shit because they raiding people houses and finding shit and all oh, type of shit. Now everybody on. getting responsible for and they trying to scare everybody and scare me and I'm just like man. And then as soon as I got that plea deal and it was nice and it was cool something I can work with, I took mm -hmm. the plea deal and I was Real like, come on, let's get it all over with. So nobody else get in trouble. Mm -hmm. I get this shit over with. And that opened my eyes to stay away from everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's why when y'all heard me in that song, if you know, you know, I don't buy guns off the street. You got a port of stolen. Mm -hmm. And that was the worst month of my life. Waiting back after they talking about, all right, now we got to run ballistics on the gun and make sure that it ain't nobody got killed with it. It's not a murder weapon. So now, nigga, I'm, I, I, now I'm worried about that. Like, nigga, right. I, I might have shot a nigga with a gun and already got a body on it. They gonna blame me for it. Man, you know what I'm fuck that. Somebody got to pay for it. Alibi all the time. Well, you know how much money... You gotta have a good luck. That's how Man. you get wrongly convicted. You be sitting in prison for all them years for some stupid shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, it's just a deep game. That's what I'm trying to tell niggas, bro. Make sure you know what you get yourself into. Be smart, bro. Like, I literally, I move so different now, bro. Like, I move so different now, bro. Got to. I don't move nowhere near the same, bro. Real talk. This shit ain't, this shit. I move different, man. <laughs> Real 